The cove was once a place for parties, for surfing, and for roasting mallows on the fire. Now, it's used for far sinister roasting. Lil Jeffy wakes up to a sound. It seems his high has finally worn off. Poor Lil Jeffy. He hasn't had a moment to rest, not one break from the horrors of this world. He seems to have realized what he has done, what he's ingested, what currently fuels his body, allowing him to panic so. Lil Jeffy is right to get away from the Cove crew, but in this world, you can never know what waits for you in the next location. The Cannibal. He stares into the sky. What is the purpose? What is he planning? Maybe those Puffle Eaters are not completely horrible. At least they don't eat their fellow penguins. Lil Jeffy returns to the cove. But what will he decide to do? Lil Jeffy? What you up to? Not good. Lil Jeffy, where'd you get this? Do you know what we can do with this? We can rule the island! Fellas, get up here! We hit the jackpot! That load of questionable substance could essentially persuade any force they come across to do their bidding. Let's hope things don't go south. What this supposed to be? Just a little sail. We're gonna want a few things. We want to pass through your territory, for starters. Hey, take it easy. How'd you have so much? Uh, we'll also need some new clothes. We know you're running the clothing shop. And uh, lastly, if uh, <laughs> you have them, we'll need a couple of ladies. These sick men from the cove, they just get sicker. They don't even ask for food as if they intend to continue eating Puffle. No, instead they ask for women as if they are property. Man, who you think you are? You don't get it, do you? This stuff here? This is mine now! <laughs> you found me and your whole crew gets wiped out, you heard? Alright, we can give you the girls for this. I'll get you the nice new arrival, how about that? These men from the cove had nothing. Then, Lil Jeffy brought them power they never could have imagined. The gang member returns and it looks like he's brought back up. Alright, this is how it's going down. We taking this court, and you've taken this girl- Actually, we asked for a couple of girls, plus clothing. Well, you ain't getting all that. That cart! Lil Jeffy! What about Lil Jeffy? He stole that from the tuba gang and got my brother killed! So I'm going to kill him! Of course. She was one of the girls who was also hiding out in the mine shack. Looks like Lil Jeffy's little screw-up has given him a little reputation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You never said you was working with Lil Jeffy. I ain't touching nothing stolen from the tuba gang. Things... Are going south. Ugh, first you try to change the deal, now you want to back out? Again, do I need to tell you who you are? You nothing. You dealing with bad guys. If I wanted to, I could take out you and your crew right now. We mess with stuff stolen from other gangs. Things about to go south. You crazy stupid for even bringing it. And just like that, war has started. After the shutdown, penguins have had the need to throw snowballs at speeds they never had to before. As soon as the shock wears away, the bloodbath begins. Things went south. The snowballs are powerful. These forts won't hold up. Lil Jeffy can do nothing but fight. Fight back the urine that is trying so hard to flood his pants. The 
girl up for sale is making her escape, and she urges Lil Jeffy to follow. Lil Jeffy, this way, come on! Lil Jeffy wants nothing more than to get out of this nightmare, and gladly follows. Lil Jeffy, this is all on you! Get back here! Ugh. Back in the plaza, where Jeffy once thought he would find himself a pizza. Catching their breath, Lil Jeffy- Oh, shit! When things go south, it means that things did not go according to plan. It means that things went wrong, or, in this situation, things went as horribly as possible. This should not come as a surprise. After all, there are no penguins in the North Pole. We are as south as we possibly can be.